Hi. With this movie we will show you how to use the dynamic attributes available in DMX Zone App Connect. Dynamic attributes like required, disabled, show, hide, or toggle class can be applied on certain conditions. In this video we have a form where users enter their details. We'd like to apply some of the dynamic attributes to some of the inputs here. Let's start with the repeat password field. We'd like it to be disabled when there is nothing entered in the password field. Click the repeat password field on your page or select it in the App Connect panel. Click the Add Dynamic Attribute button. Select Input as we'd like to change the attributes of the input. The Smart App Connect panel only shows the attributes available for the selected element. Then, select Disabled. The disabled attribute has been added to the password repeat field. Now, we need to select the condition when it should be applied. Click the Dynamic Data button in order to select the condition. We need this field to be disabled when the password field has no data entered. Open the password field properties in the dynamic data picker dialog and select the password field value. The expression now means that the disabled attribute will be applied when the password field has a value. We just need to add an exclamation mark in front of it in order to reverse it to when the password field has no value. Click select when you are done selecting the expression. You can see the changes immediately in live view. The password repeat field is now disabled as there is nothing entered in the password field. As soon as we enter something in the password field, the disabled attribute will be removed. And now you can re enter your password. Let me show you another example of dynamic attributes usage. We'd like to hide the personal details container when the users have not clicked the I agree with terms checkbox. We can select the personal details div in code view or in the properties inspector. You can see the div inspector appears inside the app connect panel. Click the add dynamic attribute button. Select display. And then select show. The show attribute has been applied to the div. Now let's select when the div should be shown. Click the dynamic data button and open the checkbox properties in the dynamic data pickup dialog. Then select checked and click the select button. Now our personal details div will only be displayed when the terms and conditions checkbox is checked. You can see this immediately in live view. I will show you another example of what dynamic attributes are capable of. We will toggle a class when a field value is not valid. We select the email field. This field type is set to email. This way the browser's HTML5 validation can be used to check if the entered value is in proper email format. Click the Add Dynamic Attribute button. Select Styling and select Class Toggle. Enter the name of the class to be applied. The class that we've set up is Error. Note that this is a custom class which you define in your own CSS and it is not something integrated in App Connect. Then, select a condition when this class should be applied. We need it to be applied when the value entered in the email field is not valid. So select Invalid under the Email field properties. Click the Select button. And let's preview the results in Live View. We enter some random text in the Email field. And you can see that the error class is applied as the value is not a valid email format. As soon as we enter a value which is in a valid format, the error class is removed. These are just a few examples of what you can achieve using the dynamic attributes integrated in DMX Zone App Connect and how easy it is to use them. 
Stay tuned for our next tutorials, where you will learn more about the other features of DMX Zone App Connect.